Alright, we we're doing a pre-inspection on one of our potty trucks, truck 27. We we're going to do a quick safety inspection before we hit the road. First, you want to check the steering fluid, make sure it's full, which it is, nice and full. Next is to change, see, or check the oil, see if it's all on, good. Still good. Check for your washer fluid, make sure that's full and good. Check your steering links, make sure everything is fine and dandy. Checking for oil leaks, for coolant leaks, hoses disconnected, wires disconnected. Now on this side, you'll have your coolant reservoir. Make sure it's full, completely full with the coolant before taking off. Check for your shock links as well, and your leaf springs. You never know when you get a crack in them. On this side, you're more able to check your belt, make sure for cracks. And your fan's easier to see, so I'll also check for cracks. Okay, turn on the lights, go around the whole track. So you check for each individual light. Checking your lug nuts. Make sure they're all on there snug and not able to loosen up. Checking for rust around them. And any cracks that could be in there. Around. Check your headlights and flashers. Make sure they're in working order. <laughs> Same with this side, just check your tire and lugs. Make sure you don't have any leaks through your exhaust, any black coming out of the joints. Make sure your hydraulic tank is full, ready to go. Check your boxes, make sure it's full of the supplies you'll need. Same with the back is check your lug nuts, rills. Make sure you have good enough tread depth as your responsibility. Make sure your mud flaps are on good. Check you have at least chains for each tire.
check all your strobe lights, your work lights, and your running lights. Check your tank mounting system, make sure it's all secured still, make sure there's water in your tanks. Same with this side, check your tires, lug nuts. Give a little kick on the tires to make sure they're full. And then make sure this one has all your supplies. Make sure your toilet is strapped down good and that it's not crushing too bad. If they're crushing too bad, then you need to loosen up. Just to make sure your pump is working, working order, that your reservoir is full. So if it runs out, then you're damaging the pump. Make sure your big water tank is full. Check the upper strobe lights. And after you're done with that, you can start. Alright, so when we start the truck, you won't be able to hear me, so I'm going to mention some of the things we're looking for. We're going to be looking for our belt, make sure it's going to stay on the pulleys and the tears and stuff. I'm going to check our fan, make sure it's operational. Check for your gas leaks, coolant leaks, oil leaks. Um, we're going to be checking for our steering play, make sure it's at the minimal. And we'll check our fuel tank straps, make sure it's on secure and tight. So in here, what you're checking for is your gauges. You'll have your prime and secondary air. You'll just want to make sure they're at operating temp and there's no big drop in any of the air. You'll have your diesel exhaust fluid you'll have to keep an eye on. Make sure you filled up before you take off for the day. And make sure your oil pressure is good. Now some more things in hand is you'll have to know where your fire extinguisher, your triangles, and the first aid is in the trucks. So in this one specific, there's the fire extinguisher on the passenger side. The triangles are behind the seat on the passenger side. And your first aid is behind the driver's side. So. you also want to check your washer, windshield washer, fluid jet motor, and the wipers. Make sure they're in working condition. Then there's... Check your defrosters. That's the most important part is your defrosters for the winter and everything else. So as soon as that's it, you're ready to roll.